Hello YouTube, how's it going? It's a professional here. Today I wanted to show you guys something crazy that happened to me the other day. I was traveling into the city, minding my own business, when these guys just attack me for no reason and start bombing me with their oppressor Mark II's. If you are reading the title, you are not mistaken. I fought three of the worst oppressor Mark II spammers I have ever seen. It turned into a giant war zone and I took them on with the Ruiner and the Stromberg later on. So enough of me talking, let me show you guys what happened. So right after I got locked onto, I took my oppressor and I boosted up in the air and then I parachuted out. And the reason I parachuted out is because it's pretty hard to dodge the oppressor Mark II missiles. Unfortunately though, when I hit the ground right here, I get blown up by one of the guys. And then right after I respond, I actually get killed by his friend. The third guy, he ends up coming in a little later on. But, you know, as I said in my Oppressor Mark II review, if somebody masters the flight on this thing, they can be pretty deadly, even just to individual targets on the ground. Like, I'm not even in a vehicle, so they, he can't lock on to me, but he's mastered the flight on this thing, so he's managing to hit me even when I'm on the ground here. So I was trying to find cover as soon as possible, and I see this tunnel right here. One of them already went in the tunnel. He tries to ram me, and I fired a homing missile at him. I blew him up, but I committed suicide. At least I stopped him right here. After that, I activated Ghost Organization, I went to the beach, and I spawned my Savage, because I used the Savage to take on regular Oppressors a lot, and you know, I thought I'd try it out against the Oppressor Mark II. Unfortunately, I discovered pretty early on that the Savage is not going to last against the Oppressor Mark II. I managed to dodge a lot of his missiles right here, but eventually he hits me, and then I, jump, and then I jumped out of the thing later on. And you know, as I was fighting these guys, I was just experimenting with all the different vehicles I could use. I was thinking, what could I possibly use to counter this thing? There's got to be something I can use to counter this thing. That's where the Stromberg and the Ruiner comes in a little later on. I'm going to show you guys how to deal with somebody if they're using the Oppressor Mark II and they're just spamming it like this. Because it's, it's kind of frustrating how they can just spawn it constantly with their motorcycle club menu and, you know, their terabyte menu. You know, they shouldn't have ever added that bike into the game. It caused a lot, a lot of problems in my opinion. It really broke GTA Online, but we have to deal with it. So after I got out of my helicopter, tried to parachute out, but I hit the ground too early and I killed myself. But what I did after that was I still had Ghost Organization and I spawned my Deluxo. I wanted to see, is the Deluxo going to be able to stop these things because it has pretty accurate missiles? This guy right here tried to activate off the radar, but he actually activated Easy Way Out before I even blew him up. So the second he got locked onto, he just activated it. Here's the third guy coming in right now, this purple guy. He's their buddy, he came after me, I blew him up, and he blew me up. So we basically traded right here. Then after that, I was stuck on the ground. My ghost organization expired. This guy came after me, came back after me, tried to kill me. I blew him up with my homing launcher, but he killed me as well. Then what I did was I tried to get my laser here because if you guys remember from my previous video where I took on two oppressor Mark IIs with a laser, I lasted pretty long against them. Once I got up to them with the laser right here, my friend Jermaine, he blew up one of their oppressor Mark IIs and the biz guy, he was down on the ground, so I started blowing him up. And I blew him up once right here. I came back in for a second run. Get him again right here. We got him once. Now we get him a second time. And you know, every single time these guys register for an MC president, I already know what they're doing. I already know what they're planning. It's going to be spawn another oppressor mark too. So when I dive bombed him the third time, he registered as an MC president. He actually tried to spawn his oppressor mark two right there, but I blew him up and the oppressor mark two. So I killed him a bunch of times. After that, uh, what happened was the D quick guy, his other friend, he started coming after me. And the biz guy, he got an oppressor as well. They were both coming after me. They were locking onto me. So I was trying to draw them out here. I was letting them waste their missiles on me. And then this happens. This guy, he teleported back to his facility with a heist invite and he orbital cannoned me. Of course he did. So right after I got Orbital Cannoned, I decided to spawn my Stromberg, because, you know, the Stromberg has better, it has better armor than the Deluxo, but it has similar missiles. So I wanted to try it out. They started locking onto me, hit me a few times right here, but this D-Quick guy, I blow him up, he blows me up. Right after that, D-Quick got another Oppressor Mark II, came after me, and blew me up. You know, it's kind of ridiculous how they don't even have a cooldown on that thing. They can just keep spawning it with the motorcycle club menu. Meanwhile, my Stromberg gets destroyed. I gotta wait five minutes to get another one or get it from the Moore's Mutual garage. So I decided to do something that one of my friends, Gilly Master, did on his videos. I remember watching Gilly Master's video when he was taking on people with the Ruiner 2000. So I thought, you know, I'm going to try it with the fully loaded Ruiner. The fully loaded Ruiner is very, very strong, has much better armor than the regular Ruiner, and its missiles are very accurate. It can jump up. So I went after Biz right here, and I killed him. Here's where the Ruiner 2000 rampage starts right now. Now it's time to bring it on. So I'm using the Ruiner 2000 in the job. I killed Biz two times, killed him here a second time now. 
Got him right here. And, you know, these guys, they started getting mad. I was actually hearing them on, on the microphone. You know, they they got angry that I was actually in this thing. And it's uh, kind of ironic that they were constantly spamming Oppressor Mark IIs and they were getting upset that I was in this. I tried to call a mugger on Biz, but he actually took the easy way out right before I could even get up to him. So just driving up to these people, they take easy way out so quickly. So I'm, I'm kind of like an easy way out magnet. So I activated the mugger on Biz. I was waiting till the mugger went after him. And here you go, the mugger gets him, actually takes $10,000 from him. I drive up to him, and while I was driving up to him right here, I pulled it, I made a big mistake right here because I pulled into the lot too quickly, and you know, he was waiting around with a minigun. He shot me out, but he made a really, really big mistake right here, and he's gonna regret that mistake. You know, he had a perfect opportunity to blow up the ruiner, he didn't. And he just left it there. So then right after I respond, I actually went right back to the parking lot. I took it. He tried to stop me, and I got away with it. So he had a perfect chance to blow it up right there. He didn't. Then my rampage continues where I go after this guy. D quick. I get him with the Ruiner 2000. You know, the Presser Mark IIs. Can't really dodge that. So I killed D quick. After that, we're going after them again here. The if guy was actually hiding on the roof of this skyscraper right here, but he didn't realize that at a distance, the Ruiner can still lock onto them, and it can still blow them up. If you lock onto somebody at a very far distance and you fire at them, the missiles will actually go through walls. That tends to happen, so it happened right here, it was at a perfect range, and I blew up if. Right after that, I went after I went after D Quicks, but now he's running away. You know, the same guy that kept bombing me over and over again with the oppressor, now they're running away. They're running away from a Ruiner 2000. So they're basically running in panic right now. After that, I go after I go after a Biz right here, blow him up. He's done. Got six kills on him right now. And I'm just gonna keep blowing them up every single time they get an oppressor, Mark II. It's just gonna keep going and going. Right after that, he's got another Oppressor Mark II. Blow him up again. Denied. You're not getting your Oppressor Mark II. Get out of here if you're overpowered motorcycle, buddy. I turned really quickly here because I noticed this Joey guy was following me. He tried to blow me up at first. I killed him in self-defense. I noticed he wasn't with them. I messaged him later on that they were trying to grief me. That's why I was killing them. And he stopped, he stopped following me and he stopped trying to kill me. So he probably thought I was trying to kill them for no reason. Right after that, the D-Quick guy tried to get his oppressor again, denied. So the second he tried to spawn it, I blow him up. This was great. But here, this is the best part that's coming up right now, guys. I turned as Biz was trying to follow me. I blow him up. I blew him up. I literally turned, did a quick 360 turn with the vehicle, did a nice handbrake turn, jumped up in the air, and I blew him up. Let's go into slow motion. Let's watch that really quickly again. Take a look at this right here. D-Quicks tries to get on his oppressor Mark II. Denied, again, get blown up right here. No overpowered motorcycle for you, buddy. As we're going right here, Biz, you see him right there, he's on our right. He notices me, he tries to go after me. I did a quick handbrake turn right here. Then I jumped, fired a missile, there he is in the air, blows him up, nice. That was my best kill right there. Got him eight times now. Let's continue the Ruiner 2000 Rampage. Continuing with our rampage of these Oppressor Mark II spammers, we went after Biz right here, jumped up in the air, locked onto him, blew him up right there. He probably didn't expect that one. Got him, we got nine kills on him. Right after that, his buddy D-Quick tried to go after me, did another jump right there, hit him. He missed his shot, got him right there. Shortly after, D-Quick's got another Oppressor Mark II. He's running away now. He's using the speed glitch to get away from me, didn't get him right there. But Jermaine, he blew up Biz in the meantime when he tried to get his Oppressor Mark II, but I went after Biz just the moment that he respawned. Look at that, boom. Got him right there. <laughs> he tried to use the minigun on me, but blew him up right there, shot him in the air. Carm went up a little bit. Then I came back after D-Quicks, went up here, blow him up again. Huh. The timer on my Ruiner was running out at this point. I was at around 30 seconds, but I still made it count. And Biz, he tried to sneak past me right here one last time with my Ruiner, and I got him, blew him up right there. He's done. Got him 11 times with the Ruiner. Right after that, once the time limit ended, I went to confront him. I drove right up here to him. Tried to get him with the Ruiner, failed, but I got out before it self-destructed. Then I tried to take him down on foot, but before I even got the chance, his friend D-Quick um, came up behind me and blew me up with the Oppressor Mark II, of course. I thought we were going to have some ground combat right here, but I guess they didn't want that. So I get blown up right here, he got me. Right after that, when I respond, I decide to spawn my Stromberg. Stromberg's pretty accurate missiles as well, and he's pretty armored, can take a few explosions from those Oppressor Mark IIs. So I started going after them with the Stromberg. 
Once I was using the Stromberg, the if guy tried to go after me. He fired a few missiles at me that hit me, but I survived. And then I fired a missile at him, and he activated easy way out the second I locked onto him. You know, I blew up his oppressor. I paid the insurance, but I didn't really care because all I cared about was denying him that oppressor mark two. The biz guy tried to use that as an opportunity to run away. Didn't work out for him, though. I got him right there. 12 and 2 on him. Then right after that, if spawned right here. So I just charged right at him, floored towards him. Hit him right here. I'm surprised I didn't kill him. I really actually was surprised I didn't kill him, but I tried to get out of the area because my Stromberg was already pretty damaged, hit a few explosives, and I didn't want to risk getting blown up right here, so I got out of the area, and I, then I just spawned my MOC, and I just kept going to my MOC, and when you go into the MOC with the Stromberg, it'll actually fully repair it, and it'll also replenish your missiles. So anytime you guys encounter these Oppressor Mark II Griefers, do the strategy that I'm doing with the um, Stromberg and the MOC. You could also use the Avenger if you want, but I was using the MOC because it spawns on the street. Here I blew up um, Biz again, 13 and 2 on him. Moving on right here, they started locking onto me, they were trying to blow me up, and I just started firing missiles at anything that locked on right here, and I fired it at If, he activated Easy Way Out again, of course, he's Easy Way Out King, that's what that guy is good at. Once I was over here, the guy activated Ghost Organization and D Quicks. he came after me, but I fired a missile at him, I got him right there, D Quicks is down, and unfortunately in this case they cornered me and they blew me up. So they, they finally got me right here, finally. Finally blew me up. Once I respond, I just got another Stromberg, and I was getting these guys irritated with my constant Stromberg use. But you know, I didn't care, because all they're doing is Oppressor Mark II constantly. Right when I respond, I started getting locked on to, they tried to blow me up. They figured that I was going for another Stromberg, so what I did was, I activated Ghost Organization, and I actually drove right into this parking lot. They were already using Ghost. And you know, this guy right here, he was really, really stupid. What I did right here is I got in this corner, I actually shut off my lights, and the guy actually thought that I went all the way down in the other end, but I was still inside. So right here, got up behind him, and I fired a missile. And the second I fired the missile at him, I didn't even hit him. It missed completely. He just did easy way out again. This guy is easy way out king. That's exactly what he is. Then what happened was D-Quicks, he tried to pull out another Stromberg, and he tried to fight me right here. We got into a face-off Stromberg versus Stromberg, and I blew him up right here. I got him right here. He almost got me right there when I shot up, but I managed to get him first here, blew him up. Unfortunately, though, Biz spawned a Kanjali, and he got me. He was still ghosted, so I didn't see him coming. Right after that, I just decided to spawn another Stromberg. In this case, I wasn't so lucky right here because the if guy went right after me. The moment that I got the Stromberg, they were onto me. They were trying to prevent me from getting into that thing, and they blew me up. Fortunately, though, the Moore's Mutual office is actually located pretty close to here, and I was just able to run in that parking lot and just get another Stromberg. I activated off the radar and got into it. And once I activated off the radar and I got into it, I found the if guy. He was flying over here, and I decided to lock onto him, fired at him, but he did easy way out. Of course he did. You know, I'm like an easy way out magnet. I just get near these guys, I lock onto them, and they easy way out right away. <laughs> once I went down the highway right here, I saw Biz was fighting Jermaine, so I just locked onto Biz. Got him right there. He tried to fire a missile at me, but he failed. We killed him 14 times now. Then I went after the both of them. I went over here. Biz tried to blow me up. He failed, though. He killed himself or he activated easy way out. He hit me a few times. I got very lucky right here. If started firing missiles at me, I somehow survived all of that. And, you know, it's really funny. I didn't even lock on to him, and he still activated easy way out. So he just wanted to be safe that I wasn't going to blow him up. But apparently, I don't even need to lock on to people. I just need to drive up to them in the easy way out. So I'm like an easy way out magnet. Biz activated Ghost Organization, he got into another Stromberg, so he was trying to use a Stromberg to counter my Stromberg. Pretty funny how I actually got them to start using Strombergs back. I activated off the radar shortly after that, and Biz was actually hiding in this uh, construction site. He didn't see me coming, I was hiding right behind this wall. The second he got to the construction site, I waited for him, got him right there. Right after that, I got into my Stromberg, drove over the back of my friends up. I see the F guy on his oppressor killing people, tried to blow him up right here, but of course he activated Easy Way Out. I've pretty much lost track of how much this guy Easy Way Out. He's Easy Way Out so much that he has the title of Easy Way Out King. Then I actually get Biz right here. I caught him off guard. I actually can't believe that he was just standing in the middle of the street like that. I just literally smashed into him, and he actually went flying back. Let's take a look at that in slow motion. Went around the street corner here. I cannot believe that he didn't see me coming. Just smashed right into him. Got him right there. He just goes flying back right there. Still has his bad sport hat on. Then what happened was he got into his Oppressor Mark II. He got kind of annoyed that I ran him over right like that. I got into this parking lot and I tricked him. He thought that I was up on the roof, but I was actually on the lower level. See how he didn't notice me right there? Fired a missile at me at the last second, but it was too late. I got him right there. He must have been annoyed. Probably thought I was up in the parking lot, but I wasn't. It was just in the lower level. 
I went up on the roof to see if I could get a better vantage point, and I see if again on his stupid oppressor mark 2 locked onto him and he activated passive mode really dude really you know it's one thing to constantly easy you out but now you're going into passive mode with an oppressor mark 2 so i decided to follow him in passive mode he was in passive mode then he got out of it at the last second he blew up fb fbi michael right there one of my friends and the moment that i fired a missile at him of course he activated easy way out I took a look at Jermaine's message. Jermaine says, I'm getting bored of these guys. Green keeps easy way outing too. You know, I don't blame you, Jermaine. These guys were annoying, especially the guy with the easy way outs. So I went right into my um, MOC right here to repair it. And Biz ended up leaving the lobby right there. You see Biz left. So I get into my MLC. I repaired the, repaired the Stromberg. Got full missiles again. Ready to go after them. Go after if, but he activates easy way out. Of course he did. Then Dequix leaves the lobby shortly after he left right there. So now Biz and Dequix are gone. The only Oppressor Mark II Griefer left in here is If. So I'm going after him. I'm not letting him spawn that Oppressor Mark II anymore. Got him right there. He didn't get the chance to easy way out right there. Blew him up. Right after that, I just started driving towards him. You know, it's pretty funny. I didn't even fire a missile at him, and he just blows himself up. So apparently, if I just drive next to this guy, he just easy way out. So I'm an easy way out magnet, like I said. Did it again. Second easy way out in a row. Go after him the third time here. Unfortunately, this part for him doesn't get the chance to easy way out. Smashed right into him right there. Surprised it didn't kill him. Started backing up right here. I actually trapped him, pinned him against the wall. Boom. Goodbye. No oppressor mark two for you, buddy. Get that thing out of here. No overpowered motorcycle for you. Going over here. Let's get him one more time. Smashed into him again. Boom. See, his stupid oppressor mark two is out there. I blew it up also. Now he has to call Morris Mutual again. Man, this guy loves Easy Way Out, and he loves the Oppressor Mark II. So once I did that, I actually started driving around, and I noticed that he disappeared. And the moment that he disappeared, because 48 minutes passed at this point, we've been fighting this guy for over an hour, I probably thought to myself, yeah, he's in his facility. So I went into ammunition just to be sure. Take a look at this guy up here. Of course, he is hiding in his facility. And you know, I warned my friend Jermaine, told him, watch out, this guy's in his facility, get to some kind of cover. That's, of course, his last resort. When he can't Easy Way Out... When he can't use his Oppressor Mark II, you know, he's going to be teleporting across the map of a Heist Invite, and he's going to be hiding in his facility. So we, at this point, put a vote to kick on him. Unfortunately, I wasn't fast enough to message Michael right here. Michael, unfortunately, gets hit by the Orbital Cannon. The If guy leaves right after. Either he got kicked or he left on his own. But, you know, at the end of the day, we won if he has to run back to his facility when he can't use the Oppressor Mark II. When he can't easy way out, he's going to run to his facility with a Heist Invite and an Orbital Cannon. So, I mean, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I don't normally do PvP videos. These guys just attacked me, and it was a crazy battle, so I wanted to upload it for you guys. I wanted to show you guys what happened here. I mean, do my strategy. Use the Stromberg. Use an MOC to repair it. You can take these You can take these Oppressor Mark IIs out. You can also use the Fully Loaded Ruiner. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, drop a like. If you're new to my channel, then subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Take care, everyone.